Hey patrons, it's me, it's Queen Offset Haru, and thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a patron. And today I wanted to share something with you guys that um, I don't usually share with a lot of people. It's a little bit different than my usual magical minutes. Um, it's a little bit about me. And some of you that, know, all of you know me pretty good. You've been around for a while. And one of the things I think that you probably recognize is that I love fairy tales. I love them. And um, I love tales, period, like Harry Potter. You guys know I love that. I love different tales. And one of my favorite tales is Beauty and the Beast. And I have like four or five different Beauty and the Beast inspired pocketbooks, um, and I must have seen the, um, I must have seen the cartoon and my favorite song from it like a million times. So people always ask me, what is the deal? Because, you know, the, the fairy tales and the stories that I like, they all have this moral to them. So someone asked me, what is my connection with Beauty and the Beast? And just the other day, you'll see in the thumbnail, a picture of the Beauty and the Beast card. I pulled that card for myself that day. And I've read this card many, many times in this, um, I have this deck called the Inner Child Cards. And that card came from this deck. So people often ask me like, what's my connection to it? And when I got the card, I wrote it down. It's very short. I just wanted to read it to you and explain. It says here, card of the day, beauty and the beast, meaning, and this was my interpretation for myself. I once was the beast. Only through self-love did I uncover the real me. One must look past the illusions in life to see what's real. I am grateful for the transformative power of real love. Dedicate yourself to love at all times. And I really felt that way. When I was younger, I I had anger, <laughs> anger issues. I had all kinds of stuff going on that I didn't like. Things I wanted to change about me. And I felt like I was the beast in that way. And it's interesting because I've never told anybody that. Nobody ever even asked me, you know, what was my connection to this? So it was really cool for me to be able to talk about this. But that's how I felt. I felt like I was the beast. And if you listen to the story of Beauty and the Beast, the way that he became the beast was from being unkind. And that's how I felt. I felt like I wasn't being as kind as I could be. I wasn't being as compassionate as I could possibly be. I wasn't being the best person that I could be, which is the person that I worked to become, you know, through adversity and things happening. That's how I became a kinder, more compassionate person than I am now. But I became the beast from not being compassionate from not being raised in love and from re responding aggressively to things that were going on because that was, that was the environment. So it seemed like to me, I wasn't able to uncover the real me until I was able to really give myself that self-love. So I love that aspect of it. And I feel like there's always illusions in life and that's the only way to uncover what's real. I also feel like love is transformative, but I feel like we're not talking about, even though I love fairy tales, we're not talking about fairy tale love here. We're talking about self-love, which is very real. We're talking about unconditional love, transformative love. And I see, like, I think you can have that kind of love in a relationship of any kind, but a lot of people expect it from their significant other. But you can get that transformative love from yourself, from the angels, from your ancestors, from your family members, from your friends. That love is always available to us, but we don't tap into it because we expect it to come from and look a certain way. And if it doesn't come from that romantic, you know, ballroom dance, then we don't realize that it's there. The most intense love I ever got was from goddess. Non-romantic, you know, just straight up 
spiritual love. I think they call it a gape, if I'm not mistaken. There's different uh, kinds of love, and the Greeks labeled them. I think eros is romantic love, and if I'm not mistaken, spiritual love is called a gape. So love between you and God, love between you and your family, they all are called something different. They're different forms of love. And I think the love between yourself, self-love, and the love with creator is the most powerful forms. And when we watch these, you know, fairy tales, I think we expect it to be from another person. And we don't realize that it doesn't have to come to us from some prince or from some princess. So that's why I love Beauty and the Beast, because it is a tale that reminds me. When I got that card, I started to cry so hard every time I get it, because I get it a lot. <laughs> I get it a lot. And it's that transformative power. She, she was able to help him transform into the prince that he was. And she didn't know. Belle didn't know that he was really a prince. Belle thought that he was just some beast. But by that transformative power represented by magic, you know, that that love is literally magic. So that's why I love Beauty and the Beast. And that's why you often see me with Beauty and the Beast bags. And I have a little Mrs. Potts bag. And I have um, one that is the stained glass window. It's a blue bag. It's really pretty. And I have the one that you see here in this thumbnail. And that's the reason why, because I believe in the power of love. And that's how I went from being the beast to being the queen. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I thought it would be nice if I shared different things with you here at Patreon and not just, you know, magical stuff, because I know that you guys are into different things. And um, I thought that this was something that some of you may even want to muse about yourselves. So you come back soon because I got a lot more to say. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.